Welcome, folks. I want to give to uh, give an introduction to Lagrange's theorem, which is one of the most important theorems in this class. It says that if G is a finite group and H is a subgroup thereof, then the size of H divides evenly into the size of G. You know, these absolute values, that's how we denote the size of a group. Um, so here's the size of G and here's the size of H. Another name that you'll commonly hear for the size of a group is the order of a group. So the order of a group is no different than the size of a group. For example, um, Z mod 4Z, it has four elements in it, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So its size or order is 4. The integers is an infinite group. Its size or order is infinite. Let's do some examples. Okay. I want to think of Z mod 10Z as my, as my group G. And I want to draw for you all of the subgroups of Z mod 10Z. So one subgroup is Z mod 2Z. Sorry, sorry, Z mod, um, what am I trying to say? No. Think of this as the subgroup generated by one. One group inside of this is the subgroup generated by two, which consists of all the even numbers. So zero, two, four, six, and eight. The entire group has all numbers up to 10, up to nine. Okay. Another subgroup sitting inside of here is the subgroup generated by five, which has just two elements, five and zero. Maybe I should draw them right in the opposite order. Doesn't matter. And then the last subgroup is the subgroup consisting of only the identity, zero. So that's just the subgroup generated by zero. I've, I've used this, um, I don't know, I've sort of laid things out on a um, sort of this lattice to say who's a subgroup of who. So I'm saying this is a subgroup of both of these, and this is a subgroup of here, and this is a subgroup of there. But let, let's look at the various sizes. So Z mod 10Z has size 10. The subgroup generated by 2, this has size 5. The subgroup generated by five has a size two. The subgroup generated by just zero has size one. And indeed, this number five divides 10, right? So the size of the subgroup divides the size of the group. And this number two divides 10. The size of the subgroup divides the group. Why don't I do one more example? We'll try to do Z mod 30 Z. Okay, so that's generated by one and it's all the numbers all the way up to 30, which is zero. Inside of this, I have subgroups generated by two. I have subgroups generated by three. I have a subgroup generated by five. Inside of those, I have a subgroup generated by six. I have a subgroup generated by 15. And I have a subgroup generated by 10.
And then finally, at the bottom, I have a subgroup generated by zero. Okay. So, subgroup generated by two is elements of, elements of the form two, four, six, eight, dot, 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 all the way up to 28. And then finally get back to 30. The subgroup generated by five is all elements of the form five, 10, 15, etc. Subgroup generated by 15, that just has two elements, 15 and zero. What's the subgroup generated by six? That has six, 12, 18, 24, and then 30, which is zero. I didn't write down exactly what, what these subgroups are, but you can figure it out. More importantly, let's put their sizes. So Zima 30 has size 30. The subgroup generated by two has size 15, all 15 even numbers up to 30. Subgroup generated by five has size six, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Subgroup generated by three has size 10. Subgroup generated by eight, the element six has size five, six, 12, 18, 24, and zero. Subgroup generated by 10 has size uh, three, 10, 20, and zero. And as we see the subgroup generated by 15 has size two. And the subgroup generated by zero has size one. So these line segments in here show the subgroup re relations so long as you allow yourself to follow the paths. So, um, you know, this subgroup generated by 10 is a subgroup of Z mod 30. And I could see that by following two paths or the subgroup generated by zero is a subgroup of this uh, group generated by three. And I could see that by following those paths up. But yeah, notice that all of these numbers 30, 15, 10, 6, 5, 3, 2, and 1, they all divide the size of the group. So this is a nice picture of Lagrange's theorem. Every possible subgroup from this group Z mod 30 has a size that divides into the size of Z mod 30. Namely, every possible subgroup has a size that divides into 30. Public questions. Thanks so much.